ESPN's coverage of the 1999 Tour de France is brought to you by Mongoose Pro Titanium Bicycle. Sprinting in professional cycling is, is really, you know, it's the WWF out there. It's boxing on your bike. It's the most terrifying part of the sport. And as you'll see in these sprints, it's really physical. I mean, these guys are fighting for every inch, and consequently, they need a bike they can trust. They need a strong bike, a bike that goes in a straight line, a bike that can deliver them to the finish line first. It's power, speed, courage, and it always takes a little bit of luck. That's what it takes to win. Well, the first time I rode uh, my Mongoose Pro Titanium bike was this past January. Right away, I knew it was, a, it was a fabulous bike. It's the lightest bike I've ever ridden in my pretty lengthy 15-year cycling career. And uh, it was the most comfortable ride I've, I've ever had. The Titanium stands out as, as a real supple ride. You'll notice immediately the difference from steel or aluminum. And obviously the lightness, as soon as I went uphill, I, I felt that. And those are all the things I'm looking for in a fast road bike. At the end of the season, I began to formulate the idea of running my own team, and uh, that evolved into Steve Larson Championship Cycling. Fortunately, at the level I'm at, I do have a choice in the products I ride, and I like to align myself with, uh, with companies that develop the best products. And that was the ultimate bearing in my decision to go with Mongoose last year. It was obvious their commitment to designing the best bikes on the market, and I'm completely satisfied with what they delivered. I believe it. They're good bikes. On a climb like Alpe d'Huez, probably the Tour de France's most famous climb. It's about a 10 kilometer climb, about six miles, and the steepest pitches come at the bottom. They're about 13 percent, and uh, most of the top professionals have high-end bikes similar to the, the Mongoose Pro that I ride. Most of the guys going into a climb like Alpe d'Huez, their bikes are uh, 20 pounds or less. The Mongoose Pro is under 19 pounds in my size. That's a spectacular bike for climbing hills. It actually was at the Olympic Training Center in San Diego, and I was riding with some hotshot kids. We went out and we went down a trail they call the Bandito Trail. I just let the bike go. At the bottom of that hill, I was about two minutes in front of the, the closest 19-year-old. Honestly, it was, it was the fastest I'd ever descended on a mountain bike, and it was the first time I'd ridden that bike. And, and that told me right away that, that that bike was something special. Man, where's this bike been all my life? It's quick and, and real responsive right out of the saddle. I get a lot of power. The same goes for my mountain bike. I mean, it absorbs a lot of bumps in the trail. And this year, I've been able to ride sections that I normally couldn't ride. And obviously, that carries back over to the road ride. So it makes a smoother ride, saves your energy, and allows me to deliver the power when I need to to the pedals. Whoa, Nelly. <laughs>